All right, today we're going to talk about diagnosing an indoor blower motor, PSE blower motor. All right, this is a single phase 120 volt. It came out of a furnace. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do if you don't have a blower motor running, uh, the first thing you're going to do is test for voltage. And this is just a sample control board, but on this control board right here, you can see if you turned it on heat and the blower motor was not coming on, you could test this part of the board right here, which says heat. And then you put one probe on there and one to the L2 uh, common neutral bar right here. And you should read 120 volts. Okay, if you read 120 volts um, and your blower motor is not turning on, then the next thing that you would do is go ahead and turn the power off for safety. You want to also, then once the power is off, go ahead and see, freewheel the blower motor and see if it, if it turns. Make sure it's not stuck. Check for any wobble. Make sure that there's no bearings that are bad. Okay, the next thing that you do after that with the power off is you would uh, check your capacitor. All right? On the blower motor, there's a rating plate that says what size capacitor it should have. And on this rating plate, it says 15 UF 370 VAC. All right, right there on the capacitor as well. All right. So after you isolate it and you disconnect it from your electrical wiring, you then go ahead and bleed the remaining voltage out of the capacitor with a 10,000 or 15,000 ohm resistor, just like that. Or uh, if you'd like, you can go ahead and um, short it out like this with a screwdriver without any of that chrome paint on it. So it has to be bare metal. Once you do that, you can then turn your multimeter to MFD, the capacitance reading. And we're going to turn the light on so you can see a little better. Now, what you want to do, now that it's discharged, you want to put your probes in. You want to press pretty hard, and you want to go ahead and hold that there for a little bit. All right. This says 15.51 microfarads, so that is good. That's above the rating, and it says plus or minus 6%, so that's good. You want to wait about 10 seconds, 20 seconds, till you get a good reading on that, too. All right. So our capacitor is good. The next thing that we're going to do, uh, while the blower motor is not moving, we're going to test the resistance value. So you can turn it to what looks like the upside down horseshoe, which is actually the sign for resistance. All right, and then you're going to put your probes into the connectors. Make sure that you're not going into the actual metal. You want to go between the plastic and the metal okay, so that you don't damage the connection right there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to leave this probe in. Since it's 120 volt, you're going to be testing that part of the common. And then you're going to test each of the, the speed taps individually with the other one attached to your common white. So red and white, the resistance reading is 8.3 ohms of resistance. From white to blue, uh, blue the resistance reading is 5.9 ohms of resistance to electrical flow. As we keep testing these, the speeds, it's, we're going to the higher speeds. And so every time we're testing now, the resistance readings are getting less. And that means that the motor is going to be going at a higher uh, fan speed. So that is common and orange. The next fan speed after that is you have the common and the yellow. All right, and that's 4.1 ohms of resistance. The last and highest fan speed is black. So you can go from common to black, and you're going to have the lowest resistance reading out of all of them. And that is 2.2 ohms of resistance. All right, so your blower motor could be a five speed blower motor like this, or it could be a three speed uh, blower motor like that. But if you do have the resistance value readings on here, then you do know that the blower motor is, is complete and correct. Now, if you on the resistance reading get um, OL, then that means that the coil inside uh, of wire, the windings, are actually shot and they burnt apart. All right, so it would be the same thing as me holding these in the air, you get zero uh, or OL, over limit. All right, now if you get something that looks like this, 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance, and that means the windings inside burnt together, and that's no good either, and that would indicate a bad blower motor. So if you had a bad capacitor, that would be the first thing you would check after voltage going to this. And after you know, you, you've turned the voltage off for safety, you could test the capacitor. If it's not the capacitor, check for resistance um, as well as the 
bearings in the in the blower motor to tell if it is a bad blower motor. This is obviously a good blower motor. Um, so that's it.